Welcome back to fuck you. Welcome back to JB can't find the auto zone. Yeah. <laughs> you want to tell that story while we 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 uh Oh. Oh. He's talking about Yarno. Hold on a second. The cat's going to help us find Yarno. That makes sense. Yeah. Wow. Like first, but heck yeah, it'll be worth the cost. Yeah, let's hire this cat. Mm. Do it. Find that ball of yarn. That's a lot of tuna. Yeah. <laughs> well, Boots is going to get us a lot of yarn. What the fuck is up with this guy? <laughs> Name's Mulder. If you want to know the truth about everything, you're going to want to hire me. Let's get the truth. Yeah. We, we got to get to the truth. We want the truth. I want to go investigate something. So, yeah, so, Jamie Jamie couldn't find the, the auto zone. <laughs> so, Jamie's Jamie went to uh, go go see a, a musical. Was it a musical, technically? I think it was a musical or a ballet. Some, some theater thing. Yeah, it was a musical or a ballet with, with our, our friend Amy. And, uh, yeah, well, yeah. water. And, uh... Her car broke down. Yeah, her car just that, decided to not start. And so she had to get it jumped. And then uh, we went. she went to go get a new battery last night. And we're like, hey, let's go with you. We'll go have dinner after it's done. And we'll she, follow and make sure you get there all And, the and I, I was rushing her. And, and then she stayed rushed and decided to, like, when we realized, oh, we're actually not in as, nearly in as big a hurry as we thought, she was in go mode. So she just took off without us. And her phone. And her phone. So, you and I hop in the car, just go drive behind her. Like, it's okay. We can take two cars to yeah. AutoZone and then Panda Express. Jamie probably beat us there. The Panda Express was very good. Yeah, Jamie will beat us there. It'll be fine. And uh, so we pull up to the AutoZone. We wait, what, five, ten minutes? It's like, where's Jamie? Yeah, oh. she should have been here quite a while Try ago. Try calling her. No Nothing. answer. Oh boy, tree reparations time! Oh, somebody chopped him and chopped him clean into pieces. And it's our fault. It's our imperialism's fault. Can you see the? Can you see the coins. political messaging in this? There you go. Yeah. So so Jamie uh, Jamie had turned out, out the door. Yeah. Didn't know where she was going quite. She knew the intersection. But it was slightly off the intersection, you know? It was like, yeah. you know, like you wouldn't necessarily see the sign unless you were looking for, looking in that direction. And, uh, yeah. Um, she ended up driving back home to get her phone so she could navigate to the auto zone. Well, and it was, it was that she, she called us after we had tried calling her and she asked, where the fuck is this place? <laughs> Like Jamie, and it's um, like it's like a ten minute drive, maybe. No, yeah. it's it's like an eight it's, minute it's drive. It's about ten minutes to that intersection and back. Yeah. Magical help with the situation regarding. Uh, yeah. yeah. Wait, what was the magical situation? I was curing uh, Chester. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Chester's gonna get all better. Yay! And she's slaying goblins. She's all Heck over yeah. everything. She's the best. Wow, we spent a lot of money today. Well, yeah, we got to spend reparations. Yeah. But I mean, look at all that gold that I still have. So no one cares. Yeah. Uh, Go yeah. On your keep going on those treasures quests. Eventually, you're gonna come here, and we're gonna have a cool sword. We're gonna, you're gonna go slay a dragon. It's gonna be great. Grand old quest. Yeah. Oh, he's the slightly magical cat. Oh, speaking of cats, so uh, I went to go prepare myself for the bit. Oh, this is the bit episode, by the way. The yeah. episode where I do whatever your favorite drug at home is, and That's then I the explain one. something to Amerith. Um, so, John, what were we explaining and today? It, 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 first, first, I, I went out to go to uh, go, you know, do the do audience the thing. member's favorite drug, and guess who was out there? Itty bitty demanding attention. Well, yeah, because it's awake time. <laughs> Yeah, because it's awake time, and you humans are awake, so we're just going to sit outside your house and hope you entertain us. Be uh, because our, our Mormon owners certainly so, don't stay up with So late. you couldn't think of a topic? No, because you, you're like... You couldn't come up with one. So here, here, before I do the bit... By the way, I'm going to explain, like I said, like come up with something astrophysical, so I'm going to explain solar flares. Because I, I think I have a like a really loose grasp and I can explain it like in very simple terms. But I'm going to try to explain it flares? in more complex turn. Uh, uh, hang on, yes on this one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
and then she's gonna ask another question. I think the answer, uh, does the yellow bird stop to sing with it? Yeah, yeah, you, oh, of course it does. It's gotta stop to sing with it, whatever crazy woman. Um, maybe I should explain what she's talking about instead of the bit. Oh, nope. oh, anyway, so I'm gonna explain solar flares, but first, before I get to that, and keep in mind, I'm talking like I'm, idi I'm an idiot because I, I inebriated myself. Yeah. So don't think that John's always this dumb. He's just this dumb on special 70 occasions. Of time. So, what we would like you, gamers, out there, our audience, we would like you to, on these bit episodes, start commenting topics you would like to see me explain on the branch during the bit episode. And that will go it into the pool of topics that a Meredith considers asking me so instead of me coming up with a topic it can be sprung on me so if i'm woefully inadequate to explain let's say the war of 1812 then which i can totally explain the shit out of the war of 1812 so don't so don't suggest that one. don't even try don't it. even try it um so Amerith can come up with your can bring your suggestions to the table instead of John's stupid idea. And which then was, YouTube gives us audience engagement because you commented down in the comments. It all works out great. Yeah. Instead of John being the stupid idea, it's like you should hit the wiki.random generator. It's like here have all this hyper specific <laughs> stuff. It's like Joseph Ferdinand's like 14th birthday or something. Or... <laughs> this really great Kegger that happened in 1957 in New Brunswick. I don't even know where New Brunswick is. It's next to Old Brunswick. <laughs> and that's that's where I would keep mine. I don't think that's correct. Usually the new is like, because it's in a new country. Okay, so solar flares. Can I talk about solar flares? Go for it. Okay. Explain to me a solar flare. So on the, the far out thing is the sun gets a rumbly and it's tumbly. Okay. And it, So far I don't like this explanation. And it burps up some of the sun. Okay. Do you want me to let's go a little? Okay, that's Keep... that's 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 how you tell a five-year-old, right? Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The sun gets a little, little upset in its tummy, and it burps up some, and it scatters a bunch of hot incandescent plasma out. So what is happening, to the best of my understanding, is this scientist is asking your stuff, and you give him all this stuff, and he'll do a few stupid things, and you'll have to chastise him for a few stupid things. But in general, when he's like, can I make a money-making machine? You tell him the fuck yes. John? Uh, yes, yes, absolutely. Summon folks from other dimensions. Yeah. Look at that. More people. Woo! Magic of questionable origins. Uh, <laughs> my proof's all worn out, and it's my birthday. There you oh, go. We gotta make a rain for you, sugar witch. Sure, why not? Make it rain. You. Call this a castle? Yes, Heck yeah, we do. We do. So, so are you actually going to explain okay. the fucking solar flares? So. Instead of like. The magnetic. It, it, it gets hungry yeah. and then it's just like. There's a little bit of a thing. <laughs> like no, I want the actual fucking explanation. Explain to me fucking solar flares. Boy, for somebody. No it out wasn't like a, I don't know what you want. I don't know what I want you to explain to me, John. You sure got passionate about this topic. Because I fucking want to know. <laughs> and the people at home demand to know. Okay, so based off of my memory of watching it on Cosmos or some other nature show. Uh, the magnetic sphere of the sun is very complex. Um, real because quick. Uh, you haven't been talking to Mulder, haven't you? I think I say yes, and he likes that answer, but I haven't said no, so I kind of want to try what no says. Nope. Oh, okay. Here, take this. I was never here, okay? Oh, that was the better answer. Oh, no, the granary's been infected. So, yeah. So, our magnetic coil is like this uniform, like, rotating thing, right? Because the the core of the earth is wrote you know is rotating at a reasonable you know steady rate you know it's this liquid just sloshing around regularly you know what i mean mm. so like when you look at the map of the earth's magnetic sphere it's this really nice like you know apple shaped thing that's very uniform the sun is this giant stringy mess because it's co you know the thing causing making it up its magnetic sphere are the plasma like roiling around the sun at all times with all of its complex currents so 
sometimes those currents get really tangled up right and really tangled up and there's so much stress that shit just breaks shit breaks so hard that like just a big like giant mass gets ejected from the sun that's so ejected so hard and so fast that the sun had like like comes out its plasma goo like it makes escape velocity from the sun which is crazy fast considering how gravity intensive the sun yeah, is yeah i think the escape velocity of the sun is hang on i'm allowed to look this up right no you have to guess uh escape velocity of the sun and uh you can google this at home i want to say it's something like 30 kilometers per second that doesn't sound like much it's fast Tra translate that into normal speed for me uh on the fly right now like 40,000 miles per hour that's not that bad <laughs> Like, what's Voyager traveling at? I think that's traveling at, like, 40,000 miles per hour. I don't know. I never watched Voyager. <laughs> uh, so, this mass is a hot plasma going through space. It doesn't cool that fast, because the only way for it to cool is to radiate or... Uh, because it's already in its highest phase, so it can't, like, mm -hmm. super melt to get cooler. Mm -hmm. So it's just traveling through, and sometimes it hits our atmosphere and fucks shit up. It breaks up ozone, it, you know, harms the ozone layer for a little bit. Um, it, uh, it causes magnetic interference, so it screws with radio waves and stuff, so it gets that all mad. Uh, and a bunch of science happens. I think if it's really bad, it can be similar to a, uh, oh yay, cool. Good job, Kitty. I missed important plot while I was explaining this, Amara. No, nah, not really. Um, I mean, Yarn, Yarn. I don't remember his his accent, so it's cool. We can just we can just tap through him. If you want to read the dialogue, gamers, then you have to watch. You can't just podcast listen like I do. Uh, but so you've been recapped. Yarno has been captured by the Valiant Guard. Yeah, Guard Boots who was a cat. And now Button Boy is congratulating us and helping to set up our meeting with uh, the people that get us on that council eventually. But Yay. we're not going to hear about that for like a week or two because uh, mm -hmm. cause this is the end of the session, Amareth. No, I don't want to let this end. Y yes, you do. You're fucking exhausted. <laughs> you want this to end right now. Did I explain? Mm -hmm. was, was that a good enough ex an explanation? I think so. Are you satisfied? Do you, I think I'm satisfied. Do you think you know how a solar flare works now and what it is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's when the sun gets all hungry. <laughs> let that little bit of gas out. I hope no one notices. Oh, oh, hey, hey. Aliens have already landed. They're in our city. You think we're safe? Uh, we're not safe. No, no. we're not safe. you got to give into his conspiracy, right? Worrying won't change anything. There's oh, They're already here. Oh, so we got seven aliens. I wonder what Yes would have done. Oh. I don't know, but there's a party. And we're going to go party. Next and we're time. all going to see you guys playing a different game next time on the branch. Yeah. Unless you're watching this like way later and then it's just in the playlist. And that then was superfluous. Cadillac, 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 Cadill